Hello everyone, my name is Mariana. Welcome to our Doing Life Together Wellness Edition 2022. It's an absolute joy and an honor to have you join us on the six part journey to reflect and respond to God's master plan for our overall well being, leading to an increase in the rest and restoration we find in and through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Do you feel tired, worried, anxious, depleted, or fearful of tomorrow? Then I would like to remind you today that you are not alone. You are valued, and this season too shall pass. So can I invite you to open your heart and mind and let God restore your health and replenish your spiritual well-being. In the times that we are living in, the topic of well-being has never been more relevant or important. Well-being is not just some sort of a buzzword. It's a profoundly biblical concept of rest, wholeness, completeness, health and peace in all areas of our lives. It's about God's plan for us to have a lifetime of increasing health and spiritual well-being. It's about Jesus' heart for us by showing us how we can be made whole throughout our life seasons. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines well-being as the state of being happy, healthy or prosperous. It therefore relates to having good and wholesome health across the areas of our spiritual, emotional, mental, physical, relational, financial and occupational well-being. It's about contentment, high life satisfaction and a sense of purpose. However, when we look at the world around us and the statistics released by health foundations around the struggles we experience, instead of feeling well, we battle feelings of stress, anxiety, being overwhelmed and unable to cope, suicidal feelings and self-harm habits. We compare ourselves with perfect social media posts. We feel lost, hurt, drained and depleted. The good news, however, is that God has a better plan for our wellness and each one of us can take active steps on this journey towards greater well-being. Most of us suffer in silence, especially when it comes to mental, emotional and spiritual issues. However, even though we may feel depleted, we are never disconnected from God and His love and care for us. When we look at Jesus' journey on earth, He stopped to heal and showed compassion. The same is true for us today. Jesus invites us in Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, and I'm reading from the message paraphrased version. Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. So I would like to urge us today to take that first step to say, Yes, Jesus, I choose your plan for happiness and wellness in my life. I'm taking the first step towards healing and restoration. I realize that it's not about my ability, but my availability to be open and to be used for your purpose. Your grace is sufficient for me and made perfect in my weakness. It's not about what is happening to me or how much I can do, but what you can do in and through me for your glory. I therefore choose to remain faithful in hardships. I choose to believe that you are with me and for me, and I know that you will provide for and bless me. Thank you that you know who I am, where I'm at, and what I've been going through. So Father, please provide what I need in a timely manner. 
even though I may feel discouraged, depressed, sad, filled with despair, fearful, doubtful, lonely, vulnerable, exhausted physically, mentally and emotionally, dwelling in self-pity, nervous, overworked and spiritually out of touch. Thank you that I can cry out to you and rejoice in your goodness, your faithfulness, your care and your love for me. I praise you for physical restoration, mental renewal and spiritual revival. Today, as we face our fears, we ask for a new perspective. We look at the present and will stop dwelling in the past. And we look to you, our Heavenly Father, knowing that we can be still and know that you are in control of our lives and we have hope for the future. So Lord, today we proclaim Psalm 23 verse 13. God refreshes our souls and restores our failing health. During October each year, I typically spend some time asking God to reveal to me what the theme or word for the upcoming year is. This year's word is rest, being still in the presence of God, but also the concept of re-est, so restart, refresh, renew, reprioritize, rebuild, and the re-list goes on. So when we started planning for this wellness edition, the re's kept coming up as important and relevant to the series. With the re's in mind, we structured our wellness journey based on five fundamental concepts we'll address in the time we have together. Firstly, we start our journey by reflecting on our current wellness, pausing for a few moments to create an awareness and understanding of the level of fullness or emptiness when it comes to our physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, relational, financial and occupational wellness. Once we have an understanding of our current wellness state, we can evaluate whether or not our lives and wellness are aligned with the will of God. If not, this will require us to allow God to search our hearts and show us any areas that are not in alignment with His plan and purpose for our well-being, and then to intentionally take action to realign our lives thoughts and actions to God's will. As we learn to realign to God's will, it also requires us to re-establish our identity in Christ. We are so easily deceived by the lies of the enemy and the requirements and acceptable standards of this world. Yet Jesus came to set us free from any bondage lies or attacks that keep us from living the life He predestined for us. It beckons the question, are we willing to look into the mirror and see who God created us to be? If we are made in God's likeness, is our identity, who we are and our well-being rooted in Christ? Once we know whose we are and our identity is firmly rooted in Christ, we can live a life of rest, wholeness, completeness, health and peace. We can regain our hope for a wonderful future. We can leave behind depression, depletion, anxiety and fear and step into all God has for us. A life of abundant joy and contentment a life filled with hope and a purpose, a life that puts God first by being led by Jesus and being inspired by His Holy Spirit. But that also propels us into rethinking our strategy to not only keep our happiness and wellness to ourselves, but to share that with the world around us. And then, as a last stop on our journey, let us make every effort to enter into the rest of God, so that no one will perish, but have eternal life. My prayer for you as we embark on this wellness journey is that our God of green hope will fill you up with joy, will fill you up with peace, so that your believing lives 
filled with the life-giving energy of the Holy Spirit will brim over with hope. Amen. Be blessed and enjoy the journey.